guys, it's uh, Kim with YourSheGeek.com and I just want to welcome you to this quick tutorial on how to use uh, Buffer, the social sharing app. Now, um, for my everyday social media management and um, of my accounts and all that kind of stuff, I do use Hootsuite. I just want you guys to know that I do use Hootsuite, but when it comes to finding content that you can just kind of share on the fly with your community, um, I actually do recommend using Buffer, the Chrome extension. That's what I'm going to be using. Now, I know that Buffer does have um, some other um, extensions that you can use maybe you know for uh, Mozilla if you're using Mozilla um, Internet Explorer but womp 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 who's using Internet Explorer I don't know <laughs> but in case you are using Internet Explorer um, I do believe there are some extensions out there that you can use so but for this particular tutorial I use Google Chrome so I'm gonna show you guys how to um, you know go, go find the extension um, how to add the extension to Google Chrome and then how to share content to your social media uh, channels either immediately or on the fly using buffer okay so let's go ahead and get into the little demo here really quickly so the first thing that you're going to do is essentially you just go on over to uh, google.com okay and then once you get to google you're just going to type in buffer chrome extension as you can see i'm just typing that in and it's going to be the first thing that pops up so for me it's buffer but if you're going to be using you know uh mozilla uh, let's see buffer mozilla Chrome extension, they have that there, and so on and so forth. But again, I'm using Google Chrome. So let's see, I'm going to do that. Oops. And here we go. So I'm going to click on the first option, which is uh, at the uh, Buffer store, or the Google Chrome store, my um, uh, Google Chrome store. And so then what you want to do is, I've already added this to Chrome, but um, if you're doing this for the first time, then obviously you want to click on Add to Chrome, okay? And then once you do that, what's going to happen is you're going to see this little icon pop up here on the top where it says Share with Buffer, okay? Um, you're definitely going to see that. Okay, so <clears throat> actually you probably couldn't see it. So hold on, let me just increase the screen a little bit. So you're going to see this little icon at the top here where it says, where it says share with buffer in your, um, in your tabs for Google Chrome. Okay, so how you use this is simply <clears throat> like this. Okay, let me bring this up a little bit more. Okay. All right. So what you want to do now is since you have the um, buffer extension installed, then what you want to do is say, for instance, uh, for the month of, I don't know, the month of uh, February. Okay. You're going to be, you know, you want to find content maybe that you can share with your community on social media about uh, social media <laughs> um, or about blogging. Let's, let's do that. So I want to find just some content, some great stuff. Um, from searching and things like that that I want to share with my community on blogging. So what I simply do is I just go to Google University, okay? Just go to Google University. It's already here, actually. I don't know why I'm trying to type it again up here. I just love typing, all right? I just love typing. <laughs> it's crazy. So um, then I'll just do, you know, uh, blogging for... So maybe I'll find something about blogging for business, okay? And so um, maybe I want to share this article, which I think I've read this before, um, from a HubSpot that talks about the benefits of blogging for business. Um, and I think I have read that this is a really, really good article. I love HubSpot's blog. They do an excellent job of educating folks and all that kinds of stuff, okay? So if I wanted to share this, then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this little icon up here in my Chrome extension that says Share with Buffer, okay? And then as you can see, it's going to pop up uh, the title, uh, the benefits of blogging for uh, blogging for business and marketing and it's going to pop up um, It doesn't look like they have any images really associated with this um, They have all of these that are kind of like throughout the content So maybe you'll just put select that first image that you can share as the image that goes with this article And what I like to do specifically if I'm going to be sharing on um, Twitter um, then I know that Twitter is more of a hashtag kind of specific network. Not always, but it is going to good to help with uh, Twitter search. So I'll probably add a few uh, hashtags in here. So maybe a hashtag for blogging and then uh, business. And then that's probably it. Okay. Now, as you can see, I am already connected with my Twitter profile here. But if I wanted to connect uh, maybe and share this on Facebook, then I would have to click on Facebook. 
and then um, it's gonna say you know share to many different you know uh, places da, da 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 so what you can do is you can actually click to select if you want to share this to your profile on Facebook to your page or to a group even LinkedIn um, and then I think after uh, about three social media profiles um, I think you have to use the buffer awesome plan okay I think that's what you have to do yeah to connect up to 10 so um, anywho um, you just kind of figure out where you want to share this I typically use this to kind of find content to share um, to source and share on Twitter so I'm gonna just leave it as that so I'm gonna close this out and then um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here where it says add to queue and and this added this to the queue okay for sharing now one thing that I did want to show is that you can actually um, once you share this and when they were whenever you get ready to share this out this content out to your community on Twitter or whatever social media network you want to share this on you can select if you want to share this now and that's one of what I wanted to show and I kind of skipped that but um, you can click on this little button here to the right and you can say okay I want to share this now or I want to schedule this post for a later time. So if I didn't want to share this immediately tomorrow at 4.19 a.m., then maybe I can save it for Tuesday the 14th. And uh, maybe I want to share this out at 8, you know, uh, let's see, 8, eh, let's see, 8.30. So we'll share this for 8.30 a.m. on uh, my Twitter network, okay? So then I'm going to click um, schedule. Now see it says London, so I need to change the time. But I want to click schedule because... I wanted to share at that time so again this is really an amazing amazing resource uh, for folks that want to you know be able to share content on the fly um, you know you want to share different things out with your audience and um, it just really makes it easy to do so and you can continue to do this for you know just going to Google University finding content that inspires you finding something that you know is really going to be helpful to your community and to your audience and then um, you can schedule it uh, out or you can share it immediately it just kind of depends on what you want to do so I wanted to just show you guys this really quick tutorial um, to show you how to use this extension and the social sharing app okay um, to share this content out or share content out with your um, social media followers in your community okay really hope you enjoyed this um, if you know someone that would find value in this please pass this along to them um, I would love to for you to subscribe to my channel as I'm really going to be rolling out and ramping up a lot more video tutorials and things um, specifically geared to um, tech kind of techie tutorials and things like that to help you so um, look share this out I appreciate you for tuning in and I uh, will see you on the next video okay cheers